The congressional hearing with the CEO of TikTok just ended and it was wild. I watched most of it and here are my takeaways. My perspective may be a little bit unique that I can see both sides of it because everyone that's here on TikTok knows how much we love TikTok. So most people are for TikTok and don't want a ticket ban. But on the other hand, I actually, my dad was a congressman. Um, I know some of the representatives. I've met some of the representatives that were speaking today and asked questions today. It's like, I get why Congress is concerned. I really do get it because what they're saying is, is that By ByteDance, who owns TikTok, has members that are part of the Chinese Communist Party. And thus what Representative Crenshaw was saying at the end is that by Chinese law is that since, you know, China owns ByteDance or a lot of ByteDance is that they would have to comply if the Chinese Communist Party wanted to to um, pull anything like our data. And that is a really big national security threat. And that's kind of what differs from, I guess, Facebook, Meta, is that link to the Chinese Communist Party. On the other hand, I really understood what the TikTok CEO was saying. I mean, they barely let him speak. I think this is how these things just kind of go, at least all the ones that I've seen. But he was saying that they're working on something called Project Texas. Project Texas is something that they have started, which would be that all of U.S. data is kept on U.S. soil and is overseen by a U.S. company. So Project Texas seems to be their solution to this. And the CEO of TikTok wasn't really allowed. He, he wasn't he was he was talking about it. He he got a little bit of a chance to. But it seemed like that all of the, the Congress people, all of their concern was what has happened in the past. And it felt like. TikTok was trying to move forward and find a way to move forward. But because we haven't seen the results of Project Texas because it's new, our current um, you know, congressional members are kind of like, well, we need to base this TikTok ban off of what's happening right now. And you could do anything with our data right now. So this is a really, really big concern. So I understand why they had the hearing and I don't know what's gonna come of it, but I understand the need and protection for US data. And that's also why, you know, TikTok is talking about doing Project Texas. So I think what it really comes down to is, is that data going to be protected? How is TikTok going to prove that, that U.S. data is going to be protected? I don't know. And lastly, the big concern was just the influence on the algorithms and using TikTok as a weapon. And it can be. Whatever narrative that is talked about or put in people's heads, it does have an impact on how people think. But the CEO of TikTok was trying to say that like they are independent from the Communist Party and that wouldn't be a problem. What do you guys think?